please, I'm trying to unpack. You can see that, Mummy, but I wish I couldn't. It's going to take longer than we thought to sell this place. But we will sell it. How can I possibly survive till then? You just have to make the best of things. Pass me the box. Oh, Dad, do be careful. Sorry, sorry. Look at this. I haven't seen this before. It was my grandmother's. She gave it to my mother. And one day, it'll be yours. Oh, how excellent. Look how it catches the light. When you're 15. <sighs> Which brings me to another subject dear to your heart. What's that? School. School? Darling, you didn't think you could avoid school, did you? It's the law in this country too, you know. Oh, but what's the point? We'll be gone in a few weeks. Why bother learning a whole lot of stuff I don't want to know about anyway? You start tomorrow. Your brother's very excited about it. Mummy, Greg gets excited over pot noodles. Anyway, I can't go to school. What would I wear? What you always do. What? Aren't you lucky I packed it? My uniform. <sighs> What a weekend. Those English realas are something else, especially that Gemma. I'll be happy to go to school just to get away from her. I don't believe this. This isn't real. It's real. Greg! Greg, wait! It's time for your makeover, Greg. Makeover? You can't go like this. Every kid in school will pick on you for a month. Something wrong? Do you always go to school looking like that? This is a uniform of the best girls' school in Surrey, which, in case you didn't know, is in England. Which, in case you didn't know, is where I'm going back to as soon as I possibly can. OK, OK, only asking. Where's Greg? The silly insect's going to be late. Here he is. Gregory, you can't seriously think you're going to school looking like that. Like what? <laughs> be interested in. Why not? Because he's intelligent. Ooh, intelligent. <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> Don't worry about them, they're losers. It's the Vignardi's dog! <laughs> Obviously, this place is a jungle, and obviously there are a lot of wild animals around. But if they think they can scare me, they can think again. Sucked in! Now, class, help me welcome our newest member. All the way from England, Gemma King. Thank you, Mrs Krantz. Gemma, why don't you stand up and tell us a little bit about where you used to live? I still live there. I'm only visiting here. That may well be, dear, but I'm sure we'd all like to hear just how you came to be here. before this court for the crime of being poor. How do you plead? Not guilty. Nonsense, of course you're guilty. I hereby sentence you to be banished to Australia. <gasps> you will spend your days living with some extremely silly looking animals and cousins who are even poorer than you are oh. 
take him away. We'll be back. You can't get rid of us that easily. I just have. Yes. We'll be back. You can't keep us away forever. Get trapped. Me. Will you kick you know? We'll be back. And in conclusion, just let me say how very happy I am to be in your beautiful country. And thank you for making me feel welcome. Thank you, Gemma, for that excellent account. You may be seated. <laughs> that is enough. Mark King, see me after class. Everyone else, take out your English books and turn to page 47. Didn't you bring any lunch? In my school in England, we were given lunch in the dining hall. <laughs> Don't worry, you can share mine. Thanks. I'll go get us a drink, won't be long. G'day, new boy. How goes it? Fine, thanks. Yeah, so um, how come we haven't put your tag on the Wall of Fame yet? Pardon? See that wall over there? Every new kid has to put his name on it. Yeah, it's the rule. I can't see any names there. That's because you're the first new kid this year, isn't it, Chica? Yeah. Gotta do it, mate. Oh, but I don't have a pen or anything. Ah, oh, here. Use this. I am very disappointed in you, Mark. It was immature, irresponsible, and look how you've upset poor Gemma. It was just the old whoopee cushion gag. Can't you take a joke? Are you listening to me, Mark King? Yes, miss. And to make up for what you've done, you will spend the rest of the term as Gemma's school buddy. What? You will remain by her side. Whatever she wants, whatever she needs to help her settle in at school, you will provide. But that's like I'm her personal slave. This is so good. Remember, you are on your third strike, young man. One more foul up means no cricket camp, so don't blow it. Gemma. Would you take this letter to your mother, dear? from them. They're sheep with more brains than those two. Stick with me and you'll keep out of trouble. Mark? What? Seeing as you're my school buddy, where are the girls' toilets? Come along then. What for? I want you to stand outside and make sure nobody comes in. What? And hold my hat too. I'm not gonna do that. If you don't, I'll tell Mrs. Krantz. It would be such a pity to miss the cricket camp. OK, OK, but just be quick then, will you? I have survived the worst day of my life. Except the day Amanda Dent turned up at Phoebe Forbes' party wearing the same dress as me. Anyway, one thing's for sure, I have got to leave that horrible school as fast as possible. Zimignani, stop! Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mark? What? These girls, they are girls, I assume. Who are they? Vignardis. Everyone knows that. What are they doing out there instead of in here? They got suspended from school, didn't they? Suspended? You mean they don't have to go? They can stay at home? Well, that's what suspended means, doesn't it? Maybe I should have a word with these Vignardis. Look, if you think school's bad, you want nothing to do with the Vignardis. Believe me. Don't ask. Couldn't have been that bad. It was worse. Mummy, you're cooking. Trying to, darling. 
It's cocker fat. But we never could. You always used to have Sally to do that. We'll all have to start learning new skills from now on. Oh, if you say so. Um, here, my teacher told me to give you this. Gabriella, here are those bank statements you wanted. Oh, hello. You're cooking. <clears throat> um, well, what, what is it exactly? It's cocker van. Oh. oh. Huh. It smells more like cocker spaniel. Isn't that sweet? I've been invited to morning tea at the parents' committee tomorrow. Oh, very important, that. If you want to be accepted by this community, you have to be nice to the PNC. It says to bring a plate. Don't they have enough plates of their own? <laughs> bring a plate means bring a cake or, or biscuits, stuff like that. How quaint. There's a cake shop in town. I'll buy something there. Oh, you can't do that. Why ever not? This is the PNC. You'll never be forgiven if you bring shop-bought cake. You have to bake it yourself. But I can't bake a cake. Well, maybe Gemma could whip something up. Me? Excellent idea. But I build scones and home economics. At least you've done it before, which is more than I have. This isn't just a bad dream anymore. It's a total nightmare. Hey, you, Greg. How the first day at school go, mate? Great. Yeah? There's a computer in my classroom. My teacher said I could use it at lunch. What are you studying? Australian animals. You're studying animals on a computer? Mate, you got plenty of real animals here. I'll do both. I'm going to learn everything I can about every animal in the park. Wow. I better be careful, huh? You'll have my job next. Get a move on, Greg. I better get going. Sure, mate. You need any help there? I can manage, thanks. Dear Grandma, I bet you never thought your beautiful ring would end up in such a hideous place like this. Gemma? I was wondering where you'd got to. Just wondering if you needed any more help unpacking. All done, thanks. Now it's late and you have school, so you'd better get off to bed. Oh, and thanks for offering to do those scones. I didn't offer. You made me. All in a good cause, darling. These people might help us find a buyer for this place. So? So I couldn't run the risk of poisoning the P&C. Be a good girl and do them in the morning so they're nice and fresh. Mummy can be such a tyrant sometimes. <laughs> hate, 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 hate. What? I said what? Oh, maybe this isn't such a good time. Well, let's see when would be a good time, Mark. I'm all booked up for this decade. Why don't we pencil something in for 2010? We could have to throw a wobbly. She wanna ask a favour, that's all. Favour? From me? Of course. I mean, you've been so nice and everything. I'm sure I could do it. I don't know about you, but I reckon my time is a bit off. It's okay, forget it. I have. Look, it's his school buddy stuff. I think we should drop it. Really? And all this hanging around you at school, it's kind of embarrassing. And he's what's that? I told you my timing was off. I might just think about it. If you tell me what really happened to the Mignatis. What about them? How they managed to get suspended from school, of course. And why do you want to know? Because I do. Any objections? Well, last term, the teachers were planning some sort of staff meeting, right? So Maria sneaks in and hides a bottle of giggle gas. Giggle gas? You know, makes you laugh. Oh, you mean laughing gas. Happened. No one really knows. It's the stuff of legends. Mark. Well, the teachers started breathing in this giggle gas, and pretty soon that's what they were doing. Giggling. Out of the tree. Totally troppo. <laughs>
off on Gaga, and the principal had to cancel her classes and send everyone home for the day. Bring me the Vinatis! Now! Wow, so that lady got suspended. Too right, for the whole term. Now about this body stuff. You can go now. But what about... I'll think about it if you go away. OK, OK, I'm gone. Have you ever had one of them moments where everything becomes crystal clear? Where it's all there, right in front of your very eyes? Rat poison. Overkill. You know what they say. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Big volcano, extra hot, burn, baby, burn, chilli powder. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, so oh, yes, so oh, yes. Now, turn to page seven of your maths books, please. The P and C meeting should have started by now. Soon all of my troubles will be over. I can just smell freedom. Welcome to our little group, Mrs. King. Uh, but before we have tea and try some of your delicious-looking scones, um, we wondered if perhaps you'd you'd give us a little talk about how you how you happen to to be here in in our community. <clears throat> well, it all came as a bit of a shock, actually. You see, it all started with Mr. Fitch giving me a call. <laughs> Any moment now, and they'll be reaching for my scones. I can just see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, can I go to cricket practice today? No. But you said... I said, I'd think about it. I've thought about it in the answer's name. Come on, fair's fair. Fair isn't fair. One, you embarrass me. Two, you haven't learnt your lesson. Three, you embarrass me. And four, my ring is gone. No way did I do that. But I had it on this morning. Oh, no, it must be in the... <laughs> if the ring fell in the scone mix, then that means... <gasps> oh! <laughs> and that means... Today's top story? Schoolgirl's ring chokes fat P and C lady. No, no, no! Ow! Matt King, this is the last straw. No, miss, it's his life. I thought he has this ingrown toenail, and he didn't want anybody to know in case he missed the cricket camp. But it's out now, so I'll take him to the nurse to see if there's something she can do. Easy, William. My foot really hurts. I left Mummy's ring in those scones, and if that. Lady chokes that I'm going to be arrested for murder and I'll never get out of this country. You're a fruit, you know. You should be locked up. We have to get those scones back. We? You have to help me. Oh, so now you need my help, eh? Mark. No way. Mark, I put an entire jar of big volcano, extra hot, burn baby burn chili powder in those scones. Oh, way to go. You don't understand. I'll say you did it. You can't do that. I will. I'll deny it. Who's going to believe you? and not sweet little me. Who's the class practical joker on his last strike, huh? Can't you just go back to England? I'm working on it. Now help me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had no idea that losing all your money could be so interesting. <laughs> well, now we're going to try some of your delicious-looking scones. Ladies, scones. to be in here. Ah, 
I don't know what the school's coming to, Mrs. Cranston. Yes, Principal. Setting off a fire alarm to steal the PNC cakes. I mean, if Mrs. King had an offer and one on her way in, they'd all be gone. Yes, Principal. He's got this gone. I think I'd better eat this one now. Just in case. Yes, Principal. Even though you're new here, that doesn't excuse the fact that we expect a certain standard of behaviour. Yes, yes, get on with it. The sooner I get out of here, the better. Of course, Mummy will be upset, but she'll soon realise the benefits of having me home. Gemma, are you listening? I could have choked on that ring. Yes, I know, Principal. I behaved appallingly. I deserve to be suspended. I'm not going to suspend you. You're not? You tried to warn me about the ring. You tried to save my life. But you have to suspend me. I know you feel guilty about mixing up the ingredients, but I'm sure that was an accident. Accident? The fact is, you behaved admirably. Far from suspending you, I'm going to make you school safety monitor. Here, keep this as a reminder of your quick thinking and life-saving actions. strange. One minute, I was nearly a murderer. The next minute, the school hero. How do you explain that? It's the Vince, Doc! <laughs> uh, excuse me. I hear you're suspended from school. What rotten luck. I'd hate you to miss out on one of my scones, though. 